Far Cry 3 is an open-world action-adventure first-person shooter video game developed by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Ubisoft for Microsoft Windows, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3. The game was released on November 29, 2012 in Australia, November 30 in the UK, and December 4 in North America. A standalone expansion titled Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon was released on April 30, 2013. A new edition updated for the Xbox One and PS4 was released on June 26, 2018 titled Far Cry 3 Classic Edition. Far Cry 3 is set on a tropical island between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. After a vacation goes awry, protagonist Jason Brody must save his friends, who have been kidnapped by pirates and escape from the island and its unhinged inhabitants. The third installment in the Far Cry series, Far Cry 3 was critically acclaimed upon release, with reviewers praising its world design, open-ended gameplay and story, while the game's multiplayer mode was criticized. Following the game's success, Ubisoft announced a successor, Far Cry 4. Gameplay Far Cry 3 is a first-person shooter, which also features role-playing game elements including experience points, skill trees, and a crafting system. The player has the ability to take cover behind objects to break enemies' lines of sight and to peek around and over cover and blind fire. The player has the ability to perform silent takedowns by performing melee attacks from above, below, or close behind. The game's narrative director, Jason Vandenberg, said that the story mode map is around 10 times larger than the game's previous installments. Players are given the ability to survey and plan out their attacks with stealth takedown combinations and tag enemies with the camera in order to track their movement once they break the player's line of sight. Equipment is controlled by a simple system. As missions are completed, new items are unlocked to be purchased or crafted by Jason, using the pelts of various animals found around the island to improve items, weapons, and ammunition carrying capabilities. When scramblers on radio towers are removed, areas of the map are opened and weapons in the shop are first made available for purchase, and ultimately made available for free. Apart from the basic models of each category which can be picked up from slain enemies or at the start of several missions, most weapons can be upgraded with one or more additions such as silencers, larger magazines, and better optics. A special group of signature weapons possess maxed out statistics and or unique abilities. Apart from guns, the player also has access to a few unique items and tools. Ammunition for each weapon category can be picked up, or, in the case of arrows, retrieved after use. As outposts of Voss Pirate Group are attacked and retaken, the vicinity around the outpost becomes safer and new side quests are unlocked for that area, involving missions like hunting the many different wildlife species on the island to upgrade one's equipment. Skills are collected by gaining experience from completing missions and killing enemies, and are unlocked in three skill trees, which correspond to the spider, the heron, and the shark. Each skill tree upgrades different aspects of Jason's abilities, with the spider upgrading his stealth takedowns and hunting skills, the shark upgrading assault takedowns and health, and the heron upgrading his long-range takedowns and mobility. As skills are collected, the tribal tattoo on Jason's forearm grows correspondingly. Topic. Plot Jason Brody Venuta is on vacation with a group of friends in the Rook Islands, celebrating his younger brother Riley Alex Hurich getting a pilot's license. However, on a skydiving trip, they land on a pirate-infested island and are kidnapped by pirate Lord Voss Montenegro Michael Mondo, who plans to sell them into slavery. Jason escapes with help from his older brother Grant Lane Edwards, who is killed by Voss. Jason is rescued by Dennis Charles Malik Whitfield, who is an adopted member of the island's native Rakya tribe. Dennis recognizes Jason's potential as a warrior, and gives him the tattoo, the tattoos of a Rakyat warrior. Jason then helps the Rakyat in a number of missions and ends up finding one of his friends, Daisy Natalie Brown, at the house of Dr. Earnhardt Martin Kevin, a botanist studying the island's flora. Impressed with Jason's prowess, the Rakyat allow him to be the second after Dennis, who is Liberian outsider to enter their sacred temple, and their leader and priestess, Citra Faye Kingsley, initiates Jason into the tribe after he returns the silver dragon knife, a Rakyat relic. 
He runs a series of missions, during which he rescues his captive girlfriend Liza Mylene Din Robick and his friends Keith James A. Woods and Oliver Christian Hodko, while simultaneously assisting the Rakyat in retaking their island with the help of Dr. Earnhardt and CIA agent Willis Huntley Alain Goulam. After a few run-ins with Voss, Jason discovers that Voss is Citra's brother, and his pirates are employed by Hoyt Volker Steve Cummin, a notorious slave trader and drug lord. Jason soon matures into a fearsome warrior and, revered by the Rakyat, begins to enjoy all the killing, growing more distant from his friends in the process. After Citra asks him to stay on the island, Jason returns to Earnhardt's house and tells his friends that he is staying. Meanwhile, Jason has an affair with Citra after she drugs him and has sex with him in a hallucination. After bidding goodbye to his friends, Jason heads to Voss Pirate Base. Believing that Jason is dead after a confrontation between the two, Voss is celebrating Jason's death, although it transpires he is actually waiting for him. After Jason kills numerous pirates and reaches a warehouse, he and Voss fight, but Jason enters a delusional state, fighting multiple duplicates of Voss in a dream. He reaches a final Voss, and after a brief struggle, impales him through the chest with the dragon knife and collapses right beside him. He wakes up to Citra in the Rakyat's temple, and promises to kill Hoyt for her. After Huntley helps him get into Hoyt's island, Jason infiltrates Hoyt's personal army with the help of Sam Becker Stephen Begert, Huntley's fellow operative. During this time, Jason discovers that Riley was not dead as led to believe, but a prisoner of Hoyt. Jason works his way into Hoyt's confidence, who eventually invites him and Becker to a poker night. After making a plan to kill Hoyt, Jason and Becker sit down at the poker game, but Hoyt stabs Becker in the throat and kills him, having deduced their duplicity. Jason engages, defeats, and kills Hoyt in a knife fight, losing half a finger in the process, and finally rescues Riley, though not before receiving a call from Liza which is quickly cut off. Jason and Riley fly to Dr. Earnhardt's house to find it on fire. The dying doctor tells them that the house was attacked by the Rakyat, who have captured Jason's friends, and the two head to the Rakyat temple. Jason asks Citra why his friends were captured, but she drugs him and captures Riley. Citra tells Jason that she has fallen in love with him, believing him to be a powerful warrior of Rakyat legend, and that she will free him. He starts dreaming of walking a fiery path with the dragon knife, and having Liza as a monster in his dream. He wakes up holding Liza at knife point with the dragon knife, and is given the choice to either free his friends or ally with Citra. Jason freeing his friends will result in him leaving the island, despite Citra begging him to stay. An outraged Dennis tries to stab Jason, inadvertently stabbing Citra as she jumps in front of Jason, she proclaims her love for Jason as she dies in his arms. Jason and his friends then leave the island by boat, with Jason narrating that despite becoming a monster from all the killing, he still believes that in some place in his heart he is better than this. The game ends with a still image of the boat and the dragon knife in the beach while the credits roll. If Jason instead allies with Citra, the two have sex in a ritual after Jason kills Liza. Afterwards, Citra stabs Jason in the chest, telling him as he dies that their child will lead the racket to glory and that he won. Development In August 2010, PC Gamer reported that development of Far Cry 3 was in full swing at Ubisoft Montreal. In the same month, game and Swedish retailer Webhelen listed the game for a 2010 release, which did not happen. In January 2011, Ubisoft declined to comment on speculation that Far Cry 3 would be hitting shelves in October after Game Informer listed the game as an October arrival in its 2011 preview feature. In February, the official PlayStation magazine suggested that the game was due for release at the end of 2011 as the following quote suggested, Start taking the malaria medicine in preparation, Far Cry 3 could be arriving before the end of the year. This statement was withdrawn in next month's edition where it was stated that the game would be shown on 2011's E3 and that the release date would be bumped back to 2012. In May, the CVs of a couple of stuntmen listed Far Cry 3 as one of their previous projects. Far Cry 3 features a sandbox editor. Furthermore, after confirmations of PC split-screen on the Far Cry 3 official site as well as content delivery service Steam, the feature was dropped days before release. The game's writer Jeffrey Yohalem claimed that the intention of the game's plot was to make a statement about what shooting means and what it does to humanity. 
The game's protagonist Jason Brody is not a trained soldier, but rather an everyman who is forced to become a killer over the course of the game. Yohalem claims that as a result the game examines, "...what happens when that guy is put into a situation where he has to survive minute by minute and save his friends? Will he pick up a gun and how does that affect him?" This is a story about a normal guy who picks up a gun and that can't end well. Producer Dan Hay emphasized that the emotional turns in the characters were a major theme in the game, stating that, That was the emotional thing we wanted, and when we first saw it, it was with Voss. Hay further commented that the game merged the systemic feel and emotional feel from the previous two Far Cry games in order to take the game in a very, very surprising direction. Topic. Marketing and release Players who pre-ordered Far Cry 3 received the Lost Expeditions edition of the game. It contains two exclusive missions not available in the regular version. These missions, The Forgotten Experiment and Ignition in the Deep, offer 40 minutes of additional playtime, plus a Type 10 Japanese World War II flare gun for use in the game's multiplayer modes. Players in America who pre-ordered Far Cry 3 from GameStop received the Monkey Business Bonus Pack. It includes four more missions, hosted by Herc and his bomb-carrying monkeys, and two bonus ways to humiliate your friends in multiplayer. The insane edition of the game includes all pre-order bonuses and all other forms of launch DLC, along with a Voss bobblehead and a manual teaching survival skills for usage in real situations of danger. Ubisoft commissioned Michael Lambert, a Minecraft enthusiast, and artists Axel Jansen and Johan Delcourt to create a custom map and texture pack mimicking Far Cry 3's setting and characters within the popular indie game Minecraft. The Far Cry 3 Minecraft texture pack was released, along with a Far Cry 3 Minecraft custom adventure map, on October 26, 2012 on the official Far Cry 3 website. Ubisoft released the free exclusive DLC High Tides for the PlayStation 3 version of Far Cry 3. The DLC was later released for PC on February 1, 2013 as a free Uplay reward. Those who have the season pass for Far Cry 5 received Far Cry 3 on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 on May 29, 2018. Far Cry 3 was released on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, as Far Cry 3, Classic Edition, on June 26, 2018. Topic. Soundtrack The game's soundtrack was composed by Brian Tyler and was released digitally on December 4, 2012. The game also features some licensed music. Topic: Reception. Topic: Critical reception. Far Cry 3 received widespread critical acclaim. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the PlayStation 3 version 89.18% and 9100s, the Xbox 360 version 89.14% and 9100s and the PC version 88.12% and 88100s. The game was highly praised by Eurogamer, who awarded it a 10 out of 10, claiming that Far Cry 3 is all the best things about open world gaming. Edge also added to the praise, calling the game wild, reactive and unpredictable, giving Far Cry 3 an 8 tenths. G4 TV gave the game a 5 fifths, praising the game's open world, long and satisfying campaign missions, solid gunplay with a variety of weapons to unlock and customize, and a compelling story. Game Informer gave the game a score of 9.0, 10, praising the game's story, characters, open world exploration, and gameplay. Game trailers gave the game an 8.6, 10, criticizing the repetitive feel of the island, but praising the story, characters and its likeness to Assassin's Creed. IGN gave the game a 9.0, 10, praising the game's excellent cast of characters, unpredictable enemy encounters, and its open-world environment. Parts of the story were not universally praised, some commentators found the story unrealistic, the player and his companions unlikable, and the inconsistency of the plot's tone awkward. 
The game also received criticism surrounding the main character, Jason Brody, being a white individual who came to the rescue of the indigenous population as a textbook example of the white savior trope. This was acknowledged by narrative director Mike Thompson in an interview. Thompson spoke about how he and his team learned a lot from those missteps and used those experiences to help determine their direction for Far Cry 4. Topic: <laughs> Sales. Far Cry 3 was a commercial success. It had sold about 4.5 million units as of February 2013 and more than 6 million copies as of May 2013. On October 30, 2014, Ubisoft revealed that Far Cry 3 had shipped 10 million units. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Awards. For the 2013 DICE Interactive Achievement Awards, Far Cry 3 was nominated for 7 awards including Game of the Year, Action Game of the Year, Outstanding Character Performance, for Voss Montenegro. Outstanding Achievement in Game Direction. Outstanding Achievement in Animation. Outstanding Achievement in Art Direction. And. Outstanding Achievement in Original Music Composition. Far Cry 3 also received two Game Developers Choice Awards nominations for Best Visual Arts and Best Technology. Also received numerous nominations at the 9th British Academy Video Games Awards in the categories of Best Game, Artistic Achievement, Audio Achievement, Game Design and Story, while winning the category for Best Action Game. Sequel <laughs> 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 In June 2013, in light of the acclaim garnered by Far Cry 3, Ubisoft promised they had plans for a Far Cry 4. Ubisoft said it would most likely be an open-world game, which they believe is the future of gaming. In March 2014, Eurogamer published an article stating that Far Cry 4 will be set in the Himalayas and will have rideable elephants. Also stated was the game's release will be in the first half of 2015. On May 15, 2014, Far Cry 4 was officially confirmed by a Ubisoft financial report and was released for PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One and PC on November 18, 2014 in North America and November 20 in Europe. <laughs> Notes <laughs>